Hello, Gio here. Good one, Carlos. And we are making our way to the boat over to the Magic Kingdom from the Ticket and Transportation Center here at Walt Disney World for yet another day of magic. During the holidays. Christmas Happy holidays. festivities. Happy holidays, everyone. So one of the things I want to point out is, Juan Carlos, are, you, are we loving the new security here at Disney? I'm loving the new security system here in Walt Disney. It's so fast. You get your temperature checked, and no longer do you have to stop and open your bag. They now have these new scanners. You just walk through. It scans for all the things that you're not supposed to have. Uh -huh. And it's so much more efficient. Yeah, they have a, like a place for, you know, if they need to. Um, yeah, pull you to the side and do a screen. Something. But mm -hmm. in general, it's going to make things a lot faster when the parks get busier again. Mm -hmm. So very cool. Love it. So let's board the boat. I think Juan Carlos is very happy that we have the boat to ourselves. Pretty quiet on the boat. Yeah, pretty quiet. Love it. Oh, there she is. The majestic beauty of Cinderella's castle in the distance. Check her out, folks. We are officially inside the Magic Kingdom. Let the holiday festivities begin. Juan Carlos, are you excited? Very excited. Yeah? It's, yeah, I think it's my first time officially for the holidays in Walt Disney World. Yeah. We got to see uh, Disneyland last year for the new year, yeah. but you've never been here for the festivities here. No, so I'm very excited. Yeah. I know it was gonna be different than previous years, but it's still yeah. magical. Yes. So let's go have a magical yeah. time. There we go. We're ready for have a much play. Sounds good to me. And much like during Halloween, Starbucks has the holiday Mickey cinnamon roll. We're not gonna get it today, but it's basically the same thing we got. So you can go back and check out our Halloween video and you'll see we us eating that version. And here you can see the inside of the yummy, delicious cupcake. It's even got a Mickey-shaped chocolate in there. Pretty cool. Okay, so we got our first holiday treat. Plus, coffee. <laughs> you got a little special coffee. You don't usually do those cold brew type things. Yeah, it's a little warm, so I decided to have a, a cold brew. Uh, this is dark cocoa and oatmeal. Oh, nice. And I got the lemonade peach tea combo. I love it. And most importantly, <laughs> we're treating ourselves to the very special cupcake. We're gonna try to cut it in half and show you guys how it looks like from the inside, but yeah. it might be messy, so I cannot promise anything. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're, Juan Carlos is gonna cut into it, but that's why I took the video inside so you can see, but there's a hidden Mickey inside this cupcake. Very hidden. <laughs> Here he goes. Um, Hold on, let me get the camera and show you doing it. Go for it. Huh? 
I think we need it. Yeah. You did it? See? Now pull it out and see what it... <gasps> oh. Kind of. <laughs> wah, wah. I think this size... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is supposed to be a hidden Mickey. That's so funny. Because the one in the store, ours is not a hidden Mickey. He's a... I don't know what that is. Show it to the camera. <laughs> Kinda, it's um, Art Nouveau Mickey, we'll say. It's a conceptual Mickey. <laughs> conceptual Mickey. <laughs> Salvador Dali was here. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna, let's see how Fun. it tastes. <laughs> see? Yeah. The cake is moist, the frosting is flavorful, and the center. It's supposed to be Mickey is red velvet. Very good. Yeah. Huh? And I hear music behind us. There's a cavalcade coming. Let's go check it out. Hey Pluto! Donald! The holiday is so swell! So everybody, you might recall the last time we were here in the Magic Kingdom, we came to Sleepy Hollow Refreshments and we got the chicken and waffle. Juan Carlos felt absolutely in love with it. And I talked about my sensitive palate <laughs> <laughs> because it's a little spicy. Um, but we got it again. And uh, we're having that as a little in-between snack before mm -hmm. we have our dinner tonight. And uh, I don't know, it seems a little spicier to me. Do you think? No? Nope. Uh, that's as spicy as it was the last time. I just have that sensitive palate. <laughs> so we're, we're doing some damage. There it is. Yeah, it's very good. I really love this. So I wanted to, to have it again. Yeah, it's a nice little treat here in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And we it love is. sitting here because right over here, I'll just turn the camera just slightly. We got a beautiful view of the castle. Of the castle. And this, uh, this is a shady spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too hot, dropping, but, so. but yeah, when the sun is on you, it's a little warm. Yeah. Anyway, another magical day mm -hmm. here in the Magic Kingdom. First time riding, Astro yes. Orbiter. Hi guys, welcome. Hi. Hello. I'm going to have you go right to the gate, okay? Okay. So another first for us. We're about to ride the Astro Orbiter. Looks fun. Never done it before. Check it out. And three, 
Wow, a hundred minute wait time for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And although it's my favorite, I'm not waiting hundred minutes in line. You're not going to wait a hundred minutes in line? No. Well, we're going to ride it. We are. We are. But I'm not waiting a hundred minutes. <laughs> I don't know. What's your favorite? What do you think? Should we ride it? <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer to that. I can't come to the Magic Kingdom and not ride Seven Doors Mine Train. 100 minutes, 120 minutes, who cares? We're riding it, right? Right. We're doing <laughs> it. We did it, we're on Seven Dwarves in the back row. Woo! <laughs> Here, Here we go! Yay! Uh-oh, there's a vulture up ahead. now Juan Carlos? Does this make you happy? Makes me very happy every time. Every time because happiness is a lifestyle. There they go. Look. There she is. So we're walking through Fantasyland and I just wanted to point out if you look above me you'll see an exterior facade. That's It's a small world. Right now, it's currently getting some sort of a facelift, so they've got a large, uh, colorful Disney-themed tarp out in front. Sort of makes it feel a little more claustrophobic as you're walking through here with that. Yeah, because there's like two It's a pretty walls. narrow walkway, and not having it open is just an observation, but check it out. Yeah, it's temporary. So here's a little rare opportunity to see something kind of cool. They have completely drained the rivers of America here at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. And it's under refurbishment, obviously part of the 50th anniversary celebration coming up. But check it out, to see this empty and to see track lying here on the ground. It's quite different. And you can see the track all the way out here. That's for the riverboat. Tom Sawyer's Island over there. It's just amazing to see that drained. Kind of cool.
And of course, everyone, a trip to the Magic Kingdom is not complete without a visit to the Haunted Mansion. His favorite. <laughs> so, you know, we gotta, we gotta ride Juan Carlos's favorite, Seven Dwarves, Mine Train, and of course, my favorite, the Haunted Mansion, because 999 haunts, you know, and there's always room for one more. <laughs> As they say, Look alive, and we'll So we figured we'd come in and sit a spell. <laughs> and where's a good place to do that, Juan Carlos? At uh, the Country Bear Jamboree. It is. We're going to see some country bears. Jamboree. Jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> We're enjoying ourselves here in the Magic Kingdom today. Taking it easy. Yeah, it's been a really kind of just chilled, relaxed day. It's not overly crowded, but a lot of the queue lines are very long. Yes. Even though the park doesn't feel very crowded, the attractions are. And I think, put a comment below and tell me if you agree with me. I think part of the reason that even though they've limited capacity, I don't know exactly what the capacity is, but the parks are not as crowded as they used to be, obviously. Mm -hmm. But because they've eliminated all of the live entertainment pretty much, you know, the shows in front of the castle, the parades, all of that kind of stuff that typically would draw big crowds of people. Yeah. There's nowhere for those people to go now except line up for attractions. Yeah. So I think that's why you're seeing a lot longer lines, even though the park is not as full. Yeah. And plus the social distancing and all of those. Yeah, and they have to keep the, uh, you know, cleaning the attractions every yeah. now and then. So it's a combination of that and the fact that, you know, they're not loading every single yeah. vehicle. For example, yeah. on, on Seven Doors Mine Train, it's like every other seat. Every other seat, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I think a combination of all of that is playing a factor. But, you know, like we say, you could still have a great time coming to Disney. It's just different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different. So we'll see you inside. Wait, you got something to say? Different, but it's still magical. Different, but magical. Yeah, I like it. So we're going to go see some bears now. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Hey, Henry, what's holding you up? Let's get on with the show. Now, Buff, be patient. Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. We're kind of hung up here. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome to the one and only original Covered Man Jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, we're just one big happy family. <laughs> and after a little country bear jamboree, we decided it was time to get a little something to eat. Vittles, if you will. Yep. <laughs> What's time? Yeah. So we're over here at Pecos Bills. Mobile ordering done easy. Yep. And, um... I'm doing a classic burger, simple, with some queso and chips and guacamole. So it's a little southwestern burger. Yeah. Juan Carlos, what'd you get? I'm doing the rice and chicken bowl. Yeah. It's, it comes with the rice, chicken, and um, beans. Also, it comes black with... Black beans. Yes, black beans. And also it comes with uh, onions. So we have to take it back <laughs> because I don't, I don't like onions. And then they prepare a new one without them. Yep. And I like to add lettuce and tomato and uh, guacamole and sour cream. Yeah. yeah. A little more tasty. So it's pretty good. It's simple, but it's very good. Yeah. And in, I like to say, in the old days, but you know, <laughs> pre pandemic Pecos Bills, you used to get your food and they had a huge toppings bar. And it was really great because you could just go, they pretty much gave you everything. With, without, and you could put as much as you wanted. But that's not an option anymore, just FYI. So make sure when you're doing your mobile ordering, pay close attention to what you want, or if you want extra, or you don't want something, mm -hmm. that they make sure and add it or delete it from the menu, or same, from your Yes, yeah, same with the beverage. And I see we have a little uh, dessert. What's that? We do. This is for the holidays. They have a special uh -huh. Oh, it's a Mickey. There's a little Mickey on there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a special taco. And it's a white chocolate <laughs> mousse 
taco and it's got some some yummy goodness on the inside so we'll see i thought that would be a nice treat we could share yeah that's cute so we'll have that after we eat our main meal well so have cheese but in general you know pretty good burger how's your i like it yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. easy meal very easy mm -hmm. So we'll enjoy our meal and then we'll show you the taco at the end. It's dessert taco time here at Pecos Bills. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it is. Oh, it's actually, I was thinking that this was going to be like a bread, like consistency, but it's a, it's, that's also the mousse. Mm -hmm. Maybe the outside is. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to pull up the menu so I can tell you exactly what it is, everyone. It's called the Let It Snow Chocolate Taco, and it's a chocolate taco shell filled with salted caramel and spiced chocolate mousse. How is it? Good. That's the chocolate taco. interesting. The mousse is really good. And the salted caramel with spices. I think it's more like, I think it's more like, like uh, it's very Christmassy cookie kind of, like, it's very different. Yeah, it's like um, ice cream and cookies. Ice cream and cookies? Yeah. That's what it is. Ice cream and cookies. I like the interior chocolate mousse better than I like the salted caramel. How about you? No, sir. Or do you like it all? I think I like it all the same. Yeah. But it's good. It's unique. It's a very unique dessert. It's, a, it's an interesting set of flavors. Again, for me, it's ice cream and cookies. We are truly, truly blessed in that we get to do this. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things we wanted to remind you of too, um, and, and also say thank you to all of you during the holiday season, um, that wonderful little applaud button. We're, we're a part of a test group here on YouTube um, and we're very honored that they selected us to be part of it. And it's basically a way for all of you who watch our channel to show your appreciation and you can give back if you want to. You don't have to. The other things you can do that are totally free is just hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And mm -hmm. uh, that's Share. awesome. That's equally Share. as exciting to us. Because we're, we're creeping up. We're trying to get to that 5,000 mark. If we, in the next 30 days, I don't know if we can do it, but oh my gosh, wouldn't that be exciting? That'd be the, the best New Year's present. Yeah. Chris, Christmas New Year's present to us would be share our videos and tell all your friends to subscribe to this channel so that we can get to that 5,000 mark. Yeah, it's a little less than seven. Hundred yeah, yeah. Maybe we can do it. It's possible. Anything is possible, right? Especially here in the Magic Kingdom. We're Especially asking here. for it here. <laughs> so, oh, I wanted to tell you all too. Um, we were waiting in line. We wanted their Cinderella's carriage is available over by the castle, behind the castle, uh -huh. for a photo op with a Disney Photo Pass. And here's our photo. There it is. So. While Juan Carlos and I were waiting, we were next in line to come up, and I heard a guest behind us say, Oh my gosh, look at there's that cricket guy. <laughs> like he didn't know who the. Ah. And I looked over, and above Pinocchio House, there's a little balcony up there. Jiminy Cricket was up on the balcony. That's a rare moment to see Jiminy, and I'm so sorry I don't have footage of it because literally it was in the last moments. He was up there waving. And then he left before I could get out of line and get over. And, but he is my favorite Disney character. And to, he never it, is out in the park, rare. except in parades. Is like the only time you see him. You rarely will see him out doing meet and greets or whatever. So I don't know. Maybe on Sunday afternoon, we're going to try to come back here to the Magic yep. Kingdom. Um, I'll see if uh, maybe we could get a Jiminy sighting for you all. More so for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you with Donald, mm -hmm. yeah. So, but anyway. I see Donald pretty often. You do. <laughs> All right, so let's go see the castle and see what they're doing over there. Oh. Yeah.
So as you can see, the castle is quite festive tonight. Very festive. And it'll remain this way through the holiday season after the sun goes down. They've got a few different projections that they're putting on the castle. So we're gonna take full advantage of this opportunity. We bought ourselves some red and green shirts, Christmas Eve. And we're gonna have, yes, and he, I've got Goofy. And we're gonna have our photos taken by the Disney photographer for Disney Photo Pass and uh, maybe make that our official Christmas photo this year. Yeah. Yeah. The photo's right here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? Pretty cool, right? So it's another thing we highly recommend is take advantage of the Disney Photo Pass. It's worth every penny. And if you're an annual pass holder, it's included. But uh, yeah, we take it full advantage of it every time we come to Disney and we really enjoy having somebody else take our picture for once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's changing. Well, that was a surprise. That was a nice surprise. Just a little, oh, the Yay. castle changed. Yay. So I guess every time it changes, uh, they, they throw off a little firework. Mm -hmm. How cute was that? We did not expect that little Disney magic. Yeah. That was fun. Fun and cute. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have to see on the next changeover if they shoot off some fireworks. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. From the Magic Kingdom, from us to you. We hope you enjoyed our video today. A little Disney magic, a little Disney holiday spirit. And as we always say, happiness, happiness is, is a lifestyle. lifestyle. Thanks a lot, everybody. Peace out, be safe, and have a wonderful holiday season. Bye. Bye.